In Numbers 15, we have the laws concerning offerings for the children of Israel in great detail. Verse 2 says, When you finally settle in the land I am giving you, you will offer special gifts as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. These gifts may take the form of a burnt offering, a sacrifice to fulfill a vow, a voluntary offering, or an offering at any of your annual festivals. And it's in this context that God addresses sacrifices for sin. We all make mistakes and stumble into sin. And under the covering of Jesus, through confession and repentance, we can receive forgiveness and our relationship with God is restored. But under the old covenant, there was no animal sacrifice for deliberate or premeditated sin. The person who willfully disobeyed God was guilty of a capital offense and the penalty was death. How does this impact our lives today as new covenant believers? Sin still carries a high price. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Under the Old Covenant, there were specific sacrifices required for specific sins. But Jesus, the perfect sacrifice through His blood, covers all of our sins, regardless of the infraction or intention. Death is still the just penalty for sin. But by taking our sin upon Himself and giving His body and blood on the cross of Calvary, Jesus overcame the power of sin and death for you and I. The just penalty or price for our sin is paid, and we receive His righteous standing before God in its place. We're utterly and totally clean, and therefore our relationship with God is completely restored. I'm so thankful today that because of Jesus, we're no longer under the law. Take some time, read Numbers 15, and I believe you will be too.